Towards the middle of World War II, the Allies had a big problem. Their fighters simply couldn't fly as far as their bombers, meaning bombers would have to attack into Germany without fighter coverage, leading them vulnerable to German fighters. So how did they fix this problem? Well, the simplest idea was to just extend the range of their fighters with specialized escort aircraft like the P-51 Mustang. And they did this, but it would take some time for the need of these escorts to be identified as well as the design and production of them. In the meantime, a new class of aircraft were developed, gunships. These were bombers with literal tons of extra armor and weapons added. In the case of the American YB-40, which was based off the B-17, it added tons of armor and between 15 and 30 guns. The idea being that the gunships would blend into the bomber formation and would swat away any attacking German fighters. And for the most part, this worked, at least to a degree. Many bombers were still destroyed in these raids, but also at least some German fighters were caught by surprise by these gunships. One thing that didn't happen, however, was the widespread deployment of gunships, with America fielding just 25 YB-40s with an experimental XB-41 Liberator built off the B-24 airframe. What was not successful was the German version of the gunship, the ME-323E2WT, which was built off the ME-323 transport airframe. What was different about this aircraft is that it was built off a transport airframe and not a bomber. The 323 was never designed to take enemy fire, something a gunship would be expected to do. The few that were deployed did not work well, and the idea was eventually scrapped by German command as it would have necessitated a totally new airframe design, something that just wasn't worth the effort. Eventually, however, all these aircraft designs were abandoned as long-range fighters such as the P-51 came into service leaving the gunship an interesting but unsuccessful design.